It's got triple power. It's got pedals. A paddle, of course. And a motor. The paddle also doubles as a kid entry gangplank. You may be wondering why my pedal gears are a little noisy. It's because I made them. They're not perfect. I made pretty much everything on the boat. Hulls, molds for the hulls, pedal parts, I, uh, switches out of copper pipe, the steering thing, which is rack and pinion, you can see right under here. Whatever you call these things, I made the paddle, now the things I didn't make myself. Let's start with the solar panels. After extensive begging, in other words, sending out a whole bunch of emails to solar panel places asking for sponsorships, this uh, company in Italy, Solbion, they sent me these four solar panels. Oh, thank you so much to you guys. Oh, I love them, I love them. Oh, so good. All right, the motor that's back here is a Leeson one horsepower 24 volt DC motor. I got it for 30 bucks on Amazon. Totally lucky, because they're like $600 normally. It was just in some obscure listing somewhere. I found it, used, and I took it. This is the charge controller I'm using. It's a Xantrex something or other. It's a C35. And I think they're $90, $100, somewhere around $100. I did buy that new. Now, the other stuff in my trunk here, I don't know how much this uh, speed controller costs because I, I got it from someone used and I got this from a surplus place and all these batteries in here are LifePo 4s, lithium iron phosphate batteries. I got those used on eBay. Now why have solar panel covers? Well these are the lightweight solar panels so they have a plastic coating on top. They don't last as long as the, uh, the glass ones. These are maybe five to seven years. So if I keep them covered most of the time, that will greatly extend their life. Okay, some performance stats. Top speed in this thing is a little over nine miles per hour right now. Uh, I think if I tweak the propellers a little more, which I also built so I can still mess with them, uh, I think I can get it over 10. But I'm not gonna worry about that right now because more importantly, everything's running smoothly and efficiently and I can go six miles an hour without even using the batteries. Just running off three of the solar panels while one charges the batteries and pedaling at a very leisurely pace. So that means I can go six miles an hour pretty much all day. So what's my range in this thing? Well, as long as the sun's out, pretty much indefinite. Uh, in terms of just running off the batteries with no sun, I haven't actually done a full charge to dead test yet, but I'd say 20 or 30 minutes probably at full speed. So maybe 20 miles on a charge but I never plan to run it you know in the dark full speed anyway so that's kind of a pointless thing I built this boat so I can go to town and back which is 16 miles away roughly 15 ish uh, so that's a 30 plus mile trip round trip and as long as I do that in the Sun I shouldn't have any problems oh, it's just I know that one day there's gonna be a dark gloomy day that just shows up halfway in the trip in which case I'll just paddle even more important than that it is so fun to drive this thing
Oh, a couple other features. This hatch up here opens and you can put stuff in the, uh, the hood there. In the trunk, I guess. If you pull this metal thing out of there, these pontoons can swing in to uh, make the boat skinnier, to fit in skinny places. And I gotta say, it comes with an incredible view. Alright, hit it! That's the motor propeller and the rudder. And then the pedal propeller is right down there. If you want to know how to build one, or you just want to see how I did it, there is an extensive list of videos going through the entire build of everything in nauseating detail. I'll try to remember to put the link to the first one down here somewhere. Oh, someone's going to ask me the name of the boat. Well, like many great names, it kind of started out as a joke. Zombie Chopper. Zombie because... The boat's all self-contained. It doesn't need gasoline or anything outside, so it'll work in a zombie apocalypse. And uh, chopper, because the front edge of the boat is like real sharp. Now, slicer was taken by the shark slicer, so this one got chopper. Besides, my kids love it when I say, kids, get to the chopper!